Hello and welcome back to Deep Dive into History. Today's video is all about the craziest and memorable quote said by the great Roman leader Julius Caesar. Before we get started if this type of content interests you don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more great content like this. I came, I saw, I conquered, is a quote famously attributed to Julius Caesar, a Roman general and statesman who played a critical role in the events that led to the demise of the Roman Republic and the rise of the Roman Empire. The quote is said to have been written by Caesar to the Roman Senate after his victory over Pharnaces II of Pontus in 47 BC. The quote is often seen as a succinct summary of Caesar's military prowess and ambition. The three-part structure of the quote, I came, I saw, I conquered, suggests a progression of actions, with each phrase representing a different stage of the military campaign. The first phrase, I came, implies that Caesar set out on a mission with a specific goal in mind. This phrase demonstrates Caesar's proactive nature, showing that he was not content to simply wait for events to unfold, but instead took initiative to shape the course of history. The second phrase, I saw, suggests that Caesar was able to quickly assess the situation on the ground and make strategic decisions based on his observations. This phrase highlights Caesar's ability to be adaptable, flexible, and make quick decisions. The third phrase, I conquered, is the climax of the quote and demonstrates the ultimate success of Caesar's campaign. The use of the word, conquered, implies that Caesar achieved a decisive victory over his enemies, showing his military prowess and ability to achieve his goals. Overall, the quote, I came, I saw, I conquered, is a powerful and memorable phrase that encapsulates Julius Caesar's military prowess, ambition, and determination. It is a testament to his ability to shape the course of history through his actions and decisions. The quote has become iconic, symbolizing the spirit of determination and ambition, and is still widely used in popular culture today. There is nothing impossible to him who will try. This quote highlights Caesar's belief in the power of determination and willpower. He believed that with enough effort, one could overcome any obstacle and achieve their goals. The phrase, nothing impossible, suggests that there are no limits to what a person can accomplish if they are willing to put in the work. The use of the word, try, implies that success is not guaranteed and requires effort and persistence. It suggests that one must be willing to put in the work, to keep pushing forward even in the face of adversity, in order to achieve their goals. Furthermore, the quote can also be interpreted as a call to action, encouraging people to take initiative and not to be afraid of failure. It suggests that one should not shy away from challenges, but instead, take them head on, and try to overcome them. Overall, the quote, there is nothing impossible to him who will try, is a powerful and memorable phrase that encapsulates Julius Caesar's belief in the power of determination and willpower. It serves as a reminder that with enough effort and persistence, anything can be accomplished. The quote has become iconic, symbolizing the spirit of ambition and determination, and is still widely used in popular culture today. It is not these well-fed long-haired men that I fear, but the pale and the hungry looking. The quote is often used to express Caesar's belief in the power of determination and willpower, particularly in the face of adversity. In this quote, Caesar is expressing his fear of those who are pale and hungry looking, as opposed to those who are well-fed and long-haired. The contrast between the two groups suggests that Caesar is more afraid of those who are less fortunate and have less resources, as they are more likely to be determined and willing to fight for their survival. The use of the word, fear, implies that Caesar recognizes the potential threat that these individuals pose, as they are more likely to be desperate and willing to do whatever it takes to achieve their goals. He understood that those who have less to lose, are the ones who might be more willing to take risks and fight for what they want, which can be dangerous for the opposition. Furthermore, the quote can also be interpreted as a commentary on the Roman society and its class structures. The well-fed and long-haired men might represent the wealthy and powerful elite, while the pale and hungry-looking men might represent the lower class, who were often marginalized and disadvantaged. Overall, the quote, it is not these well-fed long-haired men that I fear, but the pale and the hungry-looking, is a powerful and memorable phrase that encapsulates Julius Caesar's understanding of the power of determination and willpower, particularly in the face of adversity. It serves as a reminder that in any conflict, it's not always the most powerful or resourceful who poses the biggest threat, but the ones who are willing to fight the hardest. Stay tuned for part 2 of our series where we will explore more of Julius Caesar's quotes and their significance in history. Thanks for watching.
If you want to learn more about Julius Caesar check out one of our other videos.